Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Pearson product moment correlation coefficient significance test and the coefficient itself using Microsoft Excel. Um, I'll be using this file as an example. Uh, I have a beginning salary and a current salary and that list goes on for quite a while. Now there is a pretty straightforward function in Excel called Coral and you select the first array which are these in my case and you select the second array which are these <coughs> press enter and you actually get the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient alternatively there is in the newer versions of Excel also a Pearson function built in which in essence does the exact same thing so now that we have that correlation, we need to uh, test for the significance of it um, or perform a null hypothesis significance test. And in order to do that, we actually need uh, to know how many pairs there are. That means none of these should be missing, so we're only counting the pairs. Uh, to count that, we can use count ifs. And we select the first range, a double dot a and it shouldn't contain any blanks so that means <coughs> sorry about that like this and then use an and sign and then the double quotation signs twice uh, the same goes for column b so b double dot b and then again should be unequal oh, unequal to and then an and and then double quotation signs um, it should also not contain any text, so again, a double dot a, and then we can say should not contain, and we can use an asterisk for text, and then again for b double dot b, which also should not contain any text, close, close, and in total I have 474 cases. And that's probably uh, most of the work. The t value uh, that we're going to be using is the correlation coefficient multiplied by the square root out of, and another set of parentheses, the number minus 2 divided by 1 minus, and then actually the determination coefficient, which is r square. And we can close all the parentheses, press enter, and we have our t value. The degrees of freedom is the simplest formula of all of these, which is simply n minus 2. And then we can determine the significance by either using is t dot dist dot two tailed. And just to be sure, you use the absolute value of the t value and then select the degrees of freedom, which is in this case it really wants me to close this or what we can also use is the older function t dist uh, again the absolute value of the t value uh, again the degrees of freedom and that uh, we actually want it to tilt close everything up as you can see in this case it's uh, far below zero so uh, 0 0.05 um, which would suggest a significant correlation or at least that the correlation coefficient is most likely also in the population different from zero I created a small user-defined function that can actually perform this test as well uh, called Pearson core uh, if you put as output method one it will actually give you simply the correlation coefficient if you put two it will take the uh, show you the t value if you put three will give you the degrees of freedom and anything else uh, will give you the significance. I'll put a link to this example file in the description below. 